Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Conquest video guide. So I already covered Sector 1 last night so now I'm back going through Sector 2 and I'll show you some of the teams that I use to get progress done towards both Sector and Global Feats. You will also be able to find these and all my other Conquest guides on my Swagger for Life website so if you haven't seen it yet go ahead check it out there will be a link in the description below. I'll do a separate uh, video as well for the boss battles in Sector 2 shortly after this one. But otherwise, let's start by actually reminding ourselves what feats we need to complete here in Sector 2. So we have to defeat 35 enemies with the Rebel Fighter units. Again, a little bit less grindy. These feats used to be 50 kills. And we need to inflict potency down 50 times. Uh, and then defeat 35 enemies with Impeller Troopers. Again, down from 50. Same thing uh, with Night Sisters. It used to be 14. Now we only need 10 uh, uh, battles. So definitely a little bit less grindy. So hopefully it'll be a bit easier. Let's start off by some uh, Rebel Fighter feats. Uh, Mon Mothma is one way to get it done. Uh, if you do have Zealous Ambition Data Disc equipped, Biggs is good. His support, so he'll be doing nice damage there because of the discs. Uh, and as well, good thing is versus this overprepared unit, uh, when Biggs is critically hit, he gains 100% ter meter. And then he can get the ball rolling and finally Captain Rex, his support as well. Uh, but most importantly, we have that global Captain Rex feat that we need to do. So might as well um, use him uh, under Mon Mothma if you're running Mon Mothma Rebel Fighter Squad because Captain Rex is a Rebel Fighter as well. He's overall quite a versatile uh, unit. He's a Rebel, Rebel Fighter and a clone. So, you know, he can fit in many different squads. And as you can see here, just uh, slowly picking apart General Grievous squad. Which is down to my, uh we lost somebody that's okay we can bring them back i guess there we go uh let's get a revive going get our bigs back and just go ahead and finish off grievous so uh, yeah uh, definitely uh, you know mon mothma can get the job done if you have a relic soul squad you can also run uh kind of two rebel fighter squads even uh one with mon mothma and one under saw Either way, if you want to chuck in Captain Rex, uh, it's a good idea for the Captain Rex global feat, really. Anyway, uh, let's take, I guess, take care of Kandorus first. The reason why I also brought in Cassian in there, because he's support. But so is Saw, check this out, when Saw gets a turn or Captain Rex with their AoEs. <laughs> oh boy, everybody just uh, disappeared really from the field. Ugh. Come on Django, just go down. There we go. Alright, cool. Now, if you don't have any rebel use for rebel fighters at all, you can also, and you have Jedi Master Luke, you can run him in combo there with uh, Watt. It can be any rebel fighter, but again, because we have the global Captain Rex feet, might as well do this at the same time. And then you could just chuck in both Master there and Padawan for their global feet as well. Um, so you can kind of do here, I guess, three feats uh, in one battle. Uh, put Tank Tech over on... Um, must look so he has a taunt on him but let's push back some turn meter and then we keep calling with inherited teaching captain rex to assist uh, because he's a rebel fighter so he needs to be doing the all the killing here in this particular team there we go another one down sure just basic unload an aoe uh, but Malfa was able to escape fine uh, and then we've got Imperial Trooper feet, so similar to Rebel Fighters, we need 35 kills with these guys. You can put two Imperial Trooper lineups, so if you do, the first one I'm showing you is just standard, standard General Virus lineup, not including Dark Trooper, uh, because he's not support, so he won't be benefiting from Zealous Ambition data these that I have equipped. But otherwise, you can see Troopers, all of these guys are support, so they burn through many teams very quickly. There we go, down they go, boom, boom, boom. One more down, and that's it. And if you do have Imperial Remnants, you can also build a squad around Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. Um, so in here, most kills probably Gideon and Scout Trooper will do because they're support when I have Zealous Ambition to Disc equipped. But if you sometimes are able to line up a Dark Trooper Moff Gideon kill, that's nice as well for his global fit also. So, you know, it's a win-win no matter who does the, the killing here in this one you benefit either for the sector or global feed. Okay, so that's for the troopers. Night Sisters, even at low gear, like, don't be afraid to try things out um, because Plague will do the job for you as well. If you have Zealous Ambition data disc, they can still do some decent damage even at lower gear. 
Um, maybe Jabba is not the best ones to go up against. I don't know, but that's just what was standing in my way. So I just decided to try it out. Um, now, luckily, the modifier from Jawas just gives them protection recovery, not health recovery. So eventually, Plague does get through them. Um, so it just depends. Can you keep everybody alive or not? Uh, we get us looking good so far. Oh, no. Started losing sisters. No, no. Ah. <laughs> well, it worked. Uh, and then we also need to address potency down feats as well. Um, so we've got two ways to do it. So either basic from Grandmaster Yoda or a basic from uh, Young Lando. The reason why I'm bringing Julie in here, uh, because if you do have low gear master in part one, they can easily get defeated, but Julie can then revive them before the battle ends. So then you also credited for their global feat as well, while Yoda is doing his basics here, uh, applying that potency down. Uh, we do want to get, uh, I want to save the revive for later. I do want to get Django down because he can prevent revives. So if he would finish up here in my part one, then actually, you know, I wouldn't be able to bring him back and I wouldn't be able to get credit for that uh, global feat. To mass assist, uh, trying to get Django down now. Finish him, down he goes. Okay, and now, you know, we're kind of safe. They don't have ways of preventing revives. So just a case of, uh, you know, taking taking your time, making sure that Yoda uses his basic attack over and over again. There we go, get me mass assist, get me another stun. Now we just need Julie to get come in here and get a turn so he can revive our master. There we go, let's spread some foresight. And now we can go ahead and finish here armorer. And we will be credited for master in part one feet as well because I brought them back and they're alive. Um, you can do similar thing, I guess, with, with Young Lando, just uh, run under Ray, Ray lead. Uh, she will keep these guys alive for the most part. And then uh, Lando, whenever he gets a turn, just keep using his basic so he can keep a landing potency down. Uh, you could chuck in Jedi Knight Cal if you have him in here. Maybe he can get a kill or two for his global feat as well, where he needs to defeat enemies. Uh, it really, you know, depends what you want that last slot to be. If you still need more potency down, you could even throw in Grandmaster Yoda for good measures. But yeah, Imperial Troopers are annoying to deal with. Unfortunately, uh, their revise can't be prevented. Uh, but anyway, here we go into ultimate. A uh, good thing about Troopers is they're getting so much bonus turn meter, so Ray does stack up her mastery, uh, and hopefully her, her ultimate will be able to take care of things. There we go, I was able to defeat somebody with Genite Cal, that was cool. So that's for the potency down now as well. Okay guys, so that's all the battles I wanted to show you today. Uh, so let's just go ahead and review my progress. Uh, so there you go, just need one more Rebel Fighter uh, battle to do a couple of more Imperial Trooper battles, a few more Night Sister battles, and the Potency Down is the one that I kind of neglected. Um, but yeah, anyway, it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, maybe just I just need to do a battle that removes Ellis Ambition data, so Yoda is not defeating everybody too quickly. And hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult as well. Alright well, guys, uh, that's all for this video, hopefully I'll see you in the boss video shortly after this one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.